gentlemen, wow. It's been a year since I've uploaded my last video. It's been one heck of a year. Uh, the car has been down for, I would say probably 10 months of the last year. And I'm gonna show you exactly why. So these are my Manly Turbo Tough rods. I'm sure a lot of you people are pretty familiar with seeing these. And this is brand new. So what I wanna show you is something about the dowels is funny here. And what I want you to notice especially is focus, you focus, oh, there we go. Okay, this dowel here is protruding from the bottom of the cap by that much, but it's also recessed from the top by the same amount. The dowel here should stake into the large end of the rod that amount. So when it does so, you can see that what we end up with is a focus. God. Okay, so what you can see is the dowel is now sunk in there. And what I want you to also notice is that the dowel is held in by the shoulder of the bolt right here. So you can see it goes in all the way. So the dowel is free to move all the way up to that shoulder. So in the case that it does move that distance from here up to here and rest on the shoulder of the bolt, which is flat right here, then you lose your placement of the dowel in the large end of the rod. So what you'll end up having is a loss of locating or indexing of your two halves of your rod. Now this could lead to a bearing failure or this could lead to a rod failure, a crank failure, who knows. But to fix this, to fix the problem, what I have here, I've gone to far lengths with Manly to try to solve this issue for you guys, but, and keep in mind, these are rods for a, a K20 engine. So I don't know if every rod is like this or if only certain batches have this, but. So what I've created is a very small spacer And the spacer in there now takes up that gap so you won't lose control of your dowel. This is what the spacers look like. And they are machined straight off of a brand new dowel from Manly. So what you'll have to do is cut this down to this length. That's in inches. Come on, damn thing. Okay, well that's in inches. So, from that point forward, you can insert that in there and assemble your rod and you won't lose control of the index. And now you'll have a perfect way to stake both ends of your rod together. I hope this helps some people. I'm not looking to start any uh, problems here. I just hope to help some people and uh, let you guys know that you have to inspect your products even if they come you know, brand new, just like some of this stuff does. And uh, if I install this, it may work, but I, I'm not too confident in it. So. I'm not sure if it would work, but I came up with a solution. And if you have the means to shave that extra length from there, then you can go ahead and have some extra assurance with these rods. I hope this helps somebody.